Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft Forms is available in Office 365 and you can get to it either from your homepage in Office 365 or you can go to the app launcher. And if you don't see it immediately in the list of apps, you can go to all apps and you should see Forms. So clicking on this Forms icon will take you to the Forms landing page. What you'll see is your, your own personal Forms to start with. You'll notice that along the top here we can filter the Forms you have access to by shared with me. So ones you didn't necessarily create but they have been shared with you. And then you've also got group Forms which are shared with other people. So you'll notice here we've got the ability to create new Forms and new quizzes. New Forms are for capturing information and new quizzes are for testing people. Then on the right hand side over here you see I've got a couple of forms here. So these two forms I've created previously. One's called New Starter Requests, the other one's just called Questionnaire. And you can see at the bottom here I've got the number of responses. So I've had 12 to this one, I haven't had any to this one. On each of the forms you'll notice the ellipsis here where I can copy, move and delete the form. And then down here on the right hand side I've got the Recycle Bin. So if I click on this it's going to take me to my recycle bin and I can either delete or restore previously deleted forms. So then I hit backspace will take me back to the landing page. Let's have a look at a form I'd already created and see what we can do with it. So let's click on new starter request and clicking on that tile will take you to the form itself. And you can see if I scroll down, you can see all the questions I've asked in the form. And because I'm in edit mode, because I own the form, I can add new questions. And I can also edit the existing questions. So I can just click on this question and I can make changes to it here. You'll also notice on the right hand side here, we've got this responses tab. If I click on this, it's going to show me who has responded to the form already. At the top, you can see I've kind of got a dashboard that shows me how many responses there have been how long it took to respond and whether the form is active or not. You can see I can click on the ellipses here and print and delete all the responses if I want to. And then I can also create a link to that summary to share it with other people who might be interested. Along here, I have a view results button. So when I view the results, that takes me to a new view where I can click through the different results. So you can see I've got a responder drop down here. Now, this form has only been filled out by me. It was just me testing and messing around. But obviously, if lots of different people fill out this form, you'll see them all listed here. To the right hand side of the name of the responder, you can see how long it took them to complete. And then if you use these arrow buttons, you can tab through the different responses and see how long it took them to complete. And also, you'll probably notice that the question answers are changing as I go through them. So it's showing me all the question, how the questions were answered by that particular responder. I've got the ellipsis button here where I can delete and print responses if I want to. So if someone sent me through something that was rude, perhaps, uh, you can delete it from here. To go back to the form homepage, I can just click back, which will take me back to the questions and responses tab. Another thing you can do here is preview what the form's gonna look like. Because what I'm looking at now is kind of an edit mode. This is a, just for the owner. But what I might wanna see is how that's gonna to look to the responder. So I can click on the preview button and it will take me through to how the form is gonna to look to the responder. And I can just scroll through and you can see it's pretty straightforward. And they have a submit button. So they fill in all the questions, hit the submit button, and then that uh, registers a response. You can also see that I can change the view. So right now I'm in computer or desktop view. I could switch to mobile and now you can see how that's gonna look on a phone. So go back to the landing page. The other thing I can do is set up a theme here. You'll notice that I've actually uploaded a, a new theme, just a cloud image, which is then put behind the form in the background. And I could choose any of these other options here and it will just change the background for me. The next button along here is share. So this is important. Once you've created your form, you then want people to respond to it. 
So you can do that in a number of different ways. The first thing you need to do is to choose who can respond to it. So you've got these two options here. Only people in my organization can respond. That means anyone in your tenant, Office 365 tenant, who has a login can respond to the form. You can also choose the, the anyone with the link can respond. And this is essentially giving uh, anonymous access to anyone who has the link. This is useful if you want a really open form, you want to capture lots of data, but in many cases, you just want to restrict it to only people in your organization. Once you've done that, you can copy the link and now that link is ready to paste into an email or a chat window or whatever, however you want to share it. You've also got these other options. So this is the, the link. You can also go and get a QR code and download that. You can also get an embed script so you can get the, the script you need to embed it into a web page or you can get an email so it will start up your local email client whatever that might be i'm just going to go outlook in this case and you see it's created me a new email it's got a little description of the title of the form and then below that there's a link so when a user clicks on the link it's going to open the form up in response mode so if I just click on this link now, it will open it up and you can see I'm in the response mode. I've just got the questions and then the submit button. All right, so that's a quick overview of Microsoft Forms. Thanks for watching.